Are you making donation? Sure. Yes. Then my question is, start a small proportion from your donation that goes to real business. And just not just giving the money. The farmer's heart. You see how the seed is growing in that business. Can you start? That's my question. Can I see that kingdom investment, even if it's small, in your life, not just full of donation, but half donation, or 30%, or 10%, 5%, it's okay. But in your life, can I see the investment for the kingdom coming? <clears throat> and not just throwing money, but you just watch and pray that your seed is growing with the, the, the you know, holistic transformation. This is kind of actually a, what we uh, have a broader picture. We're working right now. Uh, January, January, uh, the Christian professors will meet LA to develop Joshua Entrepreneur School, Entrepreneur Entrepreneurship School. Okay, 창업학교 그거 지금 개발해. 왜냐면 선교사님들이 지금 the missionaries out there, they want to have you know kind of business as a mission, but don't know what to do. So uh, we're going to have a school. It will start Jordan. This May, okay, and go there and just teach basic things. At the same time, to uh, our our uh, main trick is this: when we when we teach business, it's simple. Two things: one, financial impact. That is the same thing with all the other business. But we we have different dimensions. This is a kingdom impact. Some businesses have really good financial impact, but not so much here. Or well, some people, some company have huge impact here, but bad here. So losing money, but this impact is so good, so they have to continue, right? So all kinds of BAM companies will develop, in, in, for example, in mission field. And it comes to a central kind of CRN network, and it comes to BAM or you, here. <clears throat> and you see all kinds of business proposal. You evaluate their financial impact and kingdom impact, and the $20 give those companies. That's the main idea. Fortunately, we are so used to donation. Just change the pro portfolio of your donation. You start, start to have your investment. And, and we need to slowly change the paradigm. I'm not saying that you stop donation, no! Do it. <laughs> you know, we need to help people. No, no way. They are dying. <laughs> you know? Great, but at the same time, because because of the limitations of the donation, we need different lifestyle. We need to open up a new lifestyle. Yes, kingdom investment. Finally, I'm gonna show you. You know, because <coughs> we talk about missionary life all the time. Uh, this is CRN. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, after JBS, it impacted my life too. Uh, my life also has changed. Uh, you know, we share that, right? All the kingdom coming to you, coming very close to you already because of business. Everywhere, there's people from all different nations surrounding you. And through business, you can go any nation at any time, right? So, you know, my perspective is in a way that, you know, I look at all the people around me differently. School, you know, there's Indians, Chinese. I'm, I'm, I feel so happy when I have this question and share personal life with them. You know, amazing thing happened. You know, one day, my Chinese colleague is, is a great professor, scholar. He has some lifetime uh, challenge. Like, her mother passed away. But one day, she sat before me and said, you know, what happened after that? So I uh, started to share my face. About an hour, I felt a great peace coming across of us. And, and later, uh, she told me that she just went to church that night. <laughs> wow. but, but, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you know, 
he went to have the truth. But I, I started praying, pray for her every day. Please, lead her to the truth. My Chinese students, and, and I go to school every day because my, I have to bring my son to school. And there's a Chinese parents. And they don't speak English at all. So I put my uh, you know, you know, paper and write my name in Chinese, and they love it. Oh, you're, and then you just, you know, you know, I start to bury those people around me. I, I, I'm glad to spend my time with them more and more. That happened to me. The checking out your mission life, every nation is already around you. You know, my father-in-law, to meet Chinese people, he gave up his business. He, he moved to Canada to meet Chinese people. Now Chinese are over <laughs> every day. So, you know, mission of life, I every every month I'm gonna challenge you, you know, and also encourage you to take the mission of life perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know if you actually business as a mission is all over the place. And you're, you'll be very confused when you look at all different business exhibition companies. Is this all different? But you know, if you understand those four circles, it's very simple. Uh, some company, some bank company in the in mission field, focus on consuming products. Like they want to develop redemptive products and services. In certain countries, product itself have redemptive power. For example, the tofu factory in North Korea. Think about the tofu. It saves people's life. They don't have to do anything else. Just tofu. <laughs> it saves. <laughs> so we need to, there's a, a company that really focus on the product development. They really you know, analyze people in different countries. And if they have bad product, it has a redemptive power. Second, investing. Many people have no money to start business. That's why it's focused. You know, there's a lot of people only do microfinance. They can keep money. But not giving away land or invest money or small venture capital or large investment. Just doing it sometimes can be done. You know, it's, it's really funny. My grandfather was a banker a long time. I mean, at that time, Korea was very really, really poor. But my father still remember. He was, a, he was a, the, the, the chief banker in, in Andong, like Hong Kong. Okay? And when their, their family left, my father saw in the train station all people in the village, city, coming out to say bye to my grandfather. All people. It never happened in that city and before. People coming voluntarily to say bye bye to my grandfather. What happened? At that poor time, my, you know, there's no money, there's no business. But my grandfather lent money to people. But it's like a mutual assurance. Two people assured the payment each other. So if someone ran away, this person had to be responsible. And with that, that, because they have no, no land or no nothing to guarantee, but with the, the, the relationship assurance, he started to lend money. <coughs> and that money changed the entire city. And after he is leaving, when he is leaving, you know, they come to say bye to my grandfather. Entire city? Can you imagine? You know the see the impact of the financing? Sometimes it's huge. But you know, over time, greedy people use the microfinance and kind of devastating a lot of stuff. But still, if you have kingdom heart, let's do it. Managing. Some, some business admission for company focus really on managing part, which means they want to work together. And soon they work together, they show the kingdom <coughs> principle. How the man of God using uh, God's power to, to you know, uh, change people's life. Um, one company in India, a woman, she was a Muslim woman, came to Jesus. The reason is very simple. I was a woman. A woman in our country is like 
no one. No one respected me as a person. But this company is the only company in my life treated me as a person, equally to men. I know my, my, my owner is Christian. That's why I want to treat him. See? So how you treat people in kingdom value matters. So some company focus on management. And finally, like, match tuna. Job creation is a huge issue. <laughs> just, just job. That's it. <laughs> they just need a job. Doesn't matter what it is. They need a job, but there's no job. So they say, why is just creating a job? It can be sometimes a redundant power. Some company has a combination of something. But this is how we understand business mission. This, you see a lot of different business mission with different emphasis. Today I'm going to introduce you the microfinancing because it's easy to do, right? You can do it right away. The minimum investment is $25. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, just see you watch the video and let's finish. Because I know many of you think it's too abstract. <laughs> uh, maybe you have heard about I introduce you the uh, you know the concept of microfinancing. Now we have like twenty five billion dollars money going to this area. It's a good starting point. But as as as, uh, as a bammer, I really want you to understand uh, these forms and think about you know the kingdom barriers and financial forms. How can they go together? Uh, it, 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 later on in this monthly meeting, I'm going to introduce you more about this real bank company so that you can have investment money. But this one, is, uh, I introduced you already in the in JBS, but uh, we had no time to watch the video. I have, in fact, more time than I'm going to give you a group assignment that, you know, raise a fund for microfinancing, $25 minimum, and generate <laughs> and analyze possible alternatives based on both financial and kingdom values, just to know, and invest, and report to the class next, me next meeting. <laughs> but, you know, you have no proof, so. But no, I strongly encourage you to think about this lifestyle change. Um, you know, the kingdom investment is kind of convertible. It can be, uh, it can turn into a donation when you lose all the money. Yeah? And but the great thing is, it comes back. You know, if you invest Shiba, one year later, you get your money back. It doesn't disappear. So you just grow the money. <laughs> if you lose, it becomes donation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, no, but I think uh, this micro is, is muddy. Like you cannot really see whether it's really a, you know, what kind of impact you have. So I'm gonna uh, try to give you more real um, band companies so you can really analyze. Oh, what about the kingdom impact, financial impact, and you can make a decision what to do. But anyway, I, I, if we can make up our minds today, seriously thinking about you know, start to have investment in real business in the kingdom of God. So that you don't have to rely on the, the richest, rich people's money. But when we have small, our heartful investment, collective, the world of the world, it goes to the world over the rest of the world. Okay. Let's pray and uh, finish. Do you have any questions, by the way? Any uh, any comment? I'm sorry, I mismanaged my time. I didn't give you enough time to discuss it. Did you have any come up with any uh, great ideas? Yeah. yeah, I really strongly encourage you to continue to have this question from a long time. Okay.